Each week, U.S. Bank brings us stories of inspirational athletes who amaze us in all sorts of ways. Our Courtney Tate joins us with the story of our end-of-the-season awards ceremony. Thanks, Aubrey. Each year, 49ers Cal High Sports, with support from our sponsors and friends, give out a variety of different scholarships totaling $38,000. And now, because of the pandemic, this year's event was scaled down, but still a wonderful event. Last year's award ceremony was canceled because of COVID. And even though this year's event looks much different than normal, our athletes are overjoyed to be able to be in attendance. I am so excited to be here today. It is so nice to be here out in person after having a year of just, you know, so uncertainty, honestly, with uh, social distancing and the pandemic. It feels amazing to be able to be part of this event. I know you guys weren't able to have it last year and I feel very blessed that I'm a part of it. For many, tonight is the finale of their high school athletic careers and the scholarship money given out will be put to great use as they look towards the future. It's amazing. Like I never really thought I'd be somebody to get things like that. So to think that I'm going to get a scholarship to put towards my education is amazing. College is definitely an expensive thing and to be able to have a scholarship to help get me through that, especially when my parents, they work so hard for the little money they have. And then for this to help me and them, it's definitely an honor and I'm thankful for it. Throughout the season, these athletes saw each other as competitors, but having the opportunity to be together tonight under one roof is meaningful. It's really great to be in a room surrounded by other athletes who have all worked so hard and overcome hard things in life. And to be able to be here all together and celebrate that is amazing. It is so amazing to be able to be with like-minded people who have a passion for sports, who have a passion for track or football or soccer. 15 scholarships are given out totaling $38,000 and each recipient has a significant and inspiring story touching the hearts of all of those in attendance. My dad is right, I don't like to fail, so I'm here now. <laughs> Seeing all these inspiring stories from the other athletes today um, just makes me really grateful to be here uh, with all of you, so thank you. And thank you for recognizing me and hearing my story and choosing me as a recipient. Kennedy was one of three winners of the Terry Blanchard Memorial Scholarship. Terry passed away from COVID one year ago. This scholarship helps keep his memory alive. To the recipients of this award, as well as to your families and coaches, I want to thank you for playing a role in continuing his legacy. I believe that he would have liked you and he would have been so excited for each of you to embark on this next chapter. Lexus of Stevens Creek gave out $10,000 in scholarship money to our five volunteer award winners. General Sales Manager Barry Johnson stresses the importance of investing in the future of our area youth. Unfortunately, money kind of makes the world go around, right? And you can't do much without it. Um, so, but it's, a, it's kind of a, a, a menial part of, of everything. So the effort and dedication that they put together and they put forth to achieve the, the things that they have is the most important thing, but uh, the money behind it really, really definitely helps. The one thing the pandemic can't affect is the talent and hard work these athletes show every week. Two of those players stood out above the rest, winning the service by medallion plays of the year during the ceremony. My softball team and my coaches, they I wouldn't be here without them, so thank you. But two plays just don't do justice. The number of memorable performances we witnessed all season long from our Bay Area athletes. Now next year we fully expect to be back at Levi Stadium for our full awards and we all look forward to that. Mm -hmm. We certainly do.